Big fan, maybe? Sister? Wife? Mother? Probably not. Top of the second, one of the Angels. Kevin Apier facing Ricky Gutierrez. David Eckstein, nice play in the throw. Tough night for Gutierrez. Here's what I mean. Bottom of the fifth, a tie to four, two on, two out. Ben Molina pops one up in the infield. I got it, I got it, I ain't got it. Gloss scores. Angels take a 5-4 lead. Bottom six, here's Gloss at the plate. Two on, two out again. Shot in the right center. It'll go as a two-run double for him as Eckstein and Garrett Anderson score. Angels go up 7-4, and they go on to win 7-5. They were shut out in the season opener, the Major League opener on ESPN2. Kevin Apier, five innings, and the Athletics. Tim Hudson will make the start. He's number two of that Oakland big three. First batter, Frank Catalanato. Grounds it down the line. Carlos Pena is hanging out there, and he takes it himself. Good defense from the rookie. Bottom of the first two on Kenny Rogers to David Justice. Going to give it a ride. Juan Gonzalez going to give it a look. Goes off the wall. Both runners come around to score. It's a triple for Justice, and it's 2 nothing swing and A's. Top of the fourth. Here's Hudson to Gonzalez. Line it is short. Miguel Tejada flashing the leather. More of that great Oakland defense. Top of the ninth, 2 on A's. Billy Koch is in, and he's in trouble. Two on, two out. Gabe Kaplan loops one to center. Terrence Long comes up firing, but Yvonne Rodriguez beats the throw, and we're tied at two. Bottom of the ninth, Dan Maselli to Carlos Pena. Will the ballpark hold it? No! Get out of town, and he means it a walk-off home run. And the A's win 3-2. to two. Pena doing it to his former team. He had three home runs for the Rangers last season. Two of them came against Oakland. Billy Cox blew his first save chance as a member of the Athletics, but he does pick up the win. Oakland now has won 19 straight regular season home games, the longest such streak in the bigs since Boston won 24 straight at Fenway in 88. White Sox Mariners, Seattle, below 500 for the first time since opening day two years ago. Before the game, they honored Jay Buhner for a fine career at the Seattle Mariners. Bone, bottom third, two one Mariners, runner on third, Edgar Martinez, off Todd Ritchie. All Edgar does really is get base hits and collect RBIs. Prep Boone would score 3-1. Martinez, two RBIs in this one. Top seven, 3-1. Bases are loaded for Kenny Lofton. There you see it. Guy in every sack. Lofton off Arthur Road. Show me your earrings. That's by Carlos Guillen, by the Jay Buhner sign. Two runs a score. Loft in the single. 4-3 in favor of the White Sox. Bottom seven, though. Game's tied at four. Bases loaded. And Brett Boone now hitting 381 against the White Sox and is joining Seattle. That'll score Guillen. Boone a couple of ribbies. Mariners had a couple more runs, and they win it by a count of 7-4. to four. Mark McLemore also two for three. Scored three times. Afghan commander General Tommy Franks, who had the first pitch, and then Randy Wynn. Grounds to shortstop. Taylor made double play ball, but Shane Halter made his own alterations. Next batter, base is loaded. Steve Cox lines that shot to right. A couple of runs will score. We're tied at five, just like that. Bottom eight, still tied at five. Bases not chucked. Runners just on the corners. Greg Vaughn. It's a roll. Chris Gomez will come in with the go-ahead run, and the Rays would tack on a couple more and win this thing by a count of 9-5. The Rays' third opening day win in a row. It's the first win in four tries for their skipper, Hal McRae, on an opening day. By the way, the first game in D-Rays history, also against the Tigers. That was in 98. Bobby Higginson, Damon Easley, the only starters remaining. Giants open their season in L.A. against their arch rivals. Six for 31, career against Kevin Brown. Get out of the infield. <laughs> Pop up to second base now, six for 32 career against Kevin Brown. Top of the second, 2 1 Giants, 2 on Bonds facing Brown again. And yeah, get out of town, and Barry always means it. Go any other way. Fourth career opening day home run, 5 1 Giants. Top four, 6 2 Giants, first and third. Bonds high and deep. If it's fair, it's gone. Not even close. Bonds just missed. Same at bat. Coming through with a base hit to right field, the pitcher, LeVon Hernandez, able to score 7-2, San Francisco. Top seven, still 7-2. New pitcher, Omar Dahl. Old result. Watch Dahl doing a Carlton Fisk thing, but watch the arrow. Stays fair. Home run. 
Barry goes three for four, two home runs, five RBIs, and check out this reaction. Wow, yeah, he was even surprised. Although not surprised, the Giants blow out the Dodgers 9-2. LeVon Hernandez becomes the first Giants pitcher to start three straight season openers since the count. John Montefusco did it back in the mid-70s. And now back to Barry. In 15 career opening days prior to this one, he had a total of three homers and four RBIs. Gets two homers, five RBIs in this one. Let the bonds gushing begin now, regardless of the uniform you wear. There's nothing that you can say about this guy other than the fact that, you know, the more you watch him, the more you reflect back on what he's done, you know, throughout the course of his career. Uh, you know, he's beginning to make a case for himself as arguably being maybe the greatest player to ever play the game. He took off where he left off last year. And uh, that's what Michael Jordan, I said before, that's what, that's what the greats do. Michael Jordan, Hank Aaron, and Mario Lemieux, Gretzky, the greats, that's what they they do. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. We want to be in the race when it's over, you know, that's just the most important thing. Opening day has never won a World Series and never will. Check this out. Bond's two homer day means that each of the last three single season home run champs have followed their record setting performances going big fly on opening day the following year. Mark McGuire, a solo shot in 99. Roger Maris, a three run bomb in 62. Babe Ruth's widow actually threw out the first pitch in that 62 Yankees opener in honor of Maris. Padres D-backs, Randy Johnson getting that world championship ring. Those things cost nine grand. World Series coin VP Kurt Schilling following his big buddy to the mound against the Padres. D'Angelo Jimenez, he missed. Ray Lankford, no. Schilling 3-0, 1.37 ERA against the Pods last season. You saw Sean Burroughs go down, Weehee Gonzalez. The Weekster was 0-2. for two. Bottom two, no score. Steve Finley off Brian Tolberg. He had one homer all the last April, and he's just matched that total. One zip in favor of the home team. Still bottom two, bases loaded. Damian Miller, he's from Wisconsin, I'm from Wisconsin, and behold the power of cheese. Seven zip D-backs. Top third, Tolbert. Had two strikes, tries to lay one down, no luck. Get out. Jimenez, you're done, and then Marcotze Schilling strikes out the side in the third. K's on the board. D-backs 9-0, Schilling, seven innings pitch, nine K's. Perhaps the last time, about 35,000 show, 10 grand less than last year. And Jeff Torborg, former Expo skipper, finds the visitors' dugout. Frank Robinson in charge. Montreal top three, Preston Wilson, grounder. Look at the range of Orlando Cabrera. Very nice Canadian defense there. Top seven, it's 2 1. The bases are loaded for Wilson, who last year with the bases drunk was two for 19. That's a buck five. Well, it appears he's a bit better here. Off Britt Reeves. Get out. Third career Grand Slam. 26th opening day Grand Slam since 1900. His team's up 6 1. Yeah, we're going to get it up. Bottom nine, Expo's down 6 4. Henry Rodriguez about to bat, and they ain't tossing no Henry bars. That's Le Garbage. And there's a new Mountie in town, and Frank Robinson says, We will not have that. Everybody go away or just watch baseball. Florida's new close. Braden Looper. Two on, two out. Jose Vidro. Lil Fister. But that's down. Two Expos will score. 6-6. Six, six. Torborg, not happy about that one. He intentionally will walk Vlad Guerrero to bring up Cabrera. And Cabrera in a 6-6 six, six game. Two out hits are the key to life. Eric Owens not going to get that. Vidro will score the winning run. And UP lives. Frank Robinson of the Expos. 7-6 to six your final. Down to their last out. The Spos rally for three. 34,000. 352, the official attendance, and about a tenth of that expected on Wednesday night. Ryan Dempster became the first Canadian-born pitcher ever to start an opening day in Canada. Eight, three runs and seven and a third, no decision. Expos now 15-11 all-time and openers in Olympic Stadium. Somehow you can just feel the excitement of extinction. But I'll tell you what, the fans were great here tonight. People say there's not baseball, there's no baseball fans in uh, Montreal. These were baseball fans tonight, and they were very enthusiastic, and they were a part of this victory tonight. This is a great city. I mean, it's the fans, they, when they're here, it's a party, and they, nobody parties like Montreal, and it's just a lot of fun to play in front of a crowd, and it's really exciting, especially the first couple nights when everybody comes out. It just shows you their potential, and I, mean, I, just, I just enjoy playing in front of these people. One and oh, suppose. Brewers Astros, that would be Wade Miller, along with Bud Selig and Wendy Selig Preeb, owns the Brewers. Look at that. Seven starts, seven wins. Top first, first batter, Miller. It's Eric Young. He's fine. A little mayonnaise on some aspirin, no problem. Miller then, 
Banks went off Alex Sanchez, Richie Sexton, who came in batting 0 95 against Miller. Little face wrap, Brewers up 1 0. Two batters later, Tyler Houston won himself a third baseman's job. That'll get down, that'll score Jeffrey Hammonds, and Sexton and the Brewers are up 3 0. Top five, Brewers up 5 1. It's Sexton again, and this one is way far. Oh, it's the joy of Sexton. His first homer of the year, and it's a good one. Brewers up by a count of six to one. Next batter is Jeff Jenkins. And Jenkins, he too gets a big fat one. Back to back blasts. Milwaukee, fantastic. Just seven strikeouts in this one. A minor miracle. His first. Brewers up 7 1. Jimmy Williams, give me that ball. Brewers win at 9 3. Ben Sheets, the seventh Brewers opening day starter in seven years, struck out a career high. Eight, Miller, who had won his final seven decisions last season, then 7-0 against 